We're happy to have Juan Pablo Lucelli with us, and I want to talk about Thank you. Uh, a little bit about Lucelan and uh, and things. So first, I want to start with Mirror Stage. You've written a, a book recently about Lacan uh, from Henri Wallon to uh, uh, Kojève, mm -hmm. and so. From while well, he gets the notion of the mirror stage, so maybe you could talk to us a little bit about mirror stage and how it does it retain its importance as Lacan's thought develops. Because I've always felt like it doesn't. It it if it doesn't disappear, it wanes in importance. And I wonder what you if that's your view or how you would how you would think of that. Yes, for me. So in my book, so Lacan from uh, uh, Lacan to Kojève. I make a little bit of uh, publicity about my book. Yeah. Um, so it's a uh, very good book. I that's, say. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact is, the, the mirror stage uh, comes from uh, Henri Vallon. That is the fact. Uh, I could, uh, I, I think, I believe that I demonstrated that, but even other authors. Uh, other people have uh, yes, said yeah, that. Yeah, right, yeah. So, right. but uh, your question. Uh, is about if this uh, this uh, theory is surpassed uh, by like um, uh, later yes, in its work. Yes, yes. Um, I think that is very interesting. But is uh, surpassed by Lacan himself right. in the sense of the first uh, step for me is to make this uh, description this, this theory uh, where there is. Um, a fragmentation in the baby, uh, so the baby uh, finds an unity with the image of the other, and so on. Uh, you know that, yes. but that is not the the, the 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 more important point. The more important point is the second step in the Lacan uh, work, Lacan's work, when in the fifties he, he introduces the uh, schema optique. Optic shim, optic shima? scheme, the scheme, optic scheme, scheme yes. yes, where the fact is uh, the child is in front to the mirror, but uh, especially he uh, turns his head toward the adult or the person uh, that is behind him or beside. It's the same. Yeah. So, what uh, cognitive a theory calls the joint attention. So, so the joint, the attention to the mirror and to the yes, to the yes, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fundamental point. So for me, it's very interesting because Lacan uh, anticipates for uh, forty years practically the conclusion of the cognitive theory. So concerning the actuality of the. Uh, does this is this theory of the if this theory of the mirror stage is actor or not? I think that nothing is more actual in the Lacan theory than the, the mirror stage with this addition. I in the fifties, the child turned his head. Uh, he has uh, toward the other. I see. So, so, so that third party or the symbolic yes. order yes. becomes pivotal for Lacan yes. later on. Exactly. And that's what he adds. So that's what I was going to ask you. My next question was going to be about what is he owed to Wallon and what does he what does he what does he invent himself? And so, what he invents, you're saying, is precisely this third party. That in, Very interesting question because the obser the observations of the Wallon comes from Darwin, a uh, uh, Deutsch uh, uh, author, uh, Preyer, uh, French author, Guillaume, and so on. So uh, you can say, finally, there is in Vallon, and uh, even before uh, ba Vallon. But uh, concerning this uh, gesture to uh, return the, the head... The, the turning of the head. Yes, yeah. the head um, toward the adult, uh, uh, Vallon describes the normal case, uh, not the pathological case. Okay. Uh, Lacan, in the 60s especially, describes uh, how, in the pathological case, he uh, talk about psychosis, but 
I think that uh, you uh, must uh, talk about autism. Uh -huh. uh, where precisely lacks this uh, fact that returns the, the head. So what autism is lacking is that uh, term to the other. Absolutely. Yeah. So autism, autism in this sense is in the or side uh, concerning this symbolic uh, register like Lacan uh, describes so, psychosis. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. interesting, interesting. So, so is that, and so that, so, so for you, mirror stage remains remains just as important as it is in the fifties, but with this adjustment made to it, right, of the third party mm -hmm. of the back. But it's still just a, it's a, you would say it's important even through seminar eleven, where he. Like you don't see a turn from mirror stage to gaze. You think yes, mirror yes, stage yes. remains just as yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, precisely in the in sixty six, yeah. when uh, she published uh, the Ecrit, right? Uh, she, uh, he adds this uh, uh, data, this uh, element, the clinical element, so they join attention. Uh, uh, according to the cognitive theory, so the évanouissement of the regard, so the gaze, is like uh, something uh, that uh, happens in the we between the the subject and the others. Yes. So that is a point, uh, a crucial point, I think. You find you find that in the sixties, uh, in the seminar eleven, for example. Right, but so but. You don't see gaze as, in some way, opposed to mirror stage. You see it as part yes, yes, of it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, ab absolutely, it's yes. absolutely part of it. Yes, yes. Not opposed. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so let's, can we turn to Kojev and his... And so I wonder how you think... Uh, look, so you make in your book, you make a lot of, of Lacan's encounter with Kojev. You said, and, and I, I think, I, I think, I agree with you that it's almost determinative for him. Mm -hmm. How does that, how would you say that influences his reading of Freud? In, in? It influences? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. his, his encounter with Kojev yes. shapes or influences his reading of Freud. Because I think it does. And I think, I mean, maybe that's the main, one of the main influences for him. Yes. Uh, it's very interesting because in a book of Kojev, uh, calls uh, atheism about atheism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first uh, uh, Kojev says the first thing is the familiarity. So, uh, in the Lacanian perspective, you have first the fragmentation, blah blah blah, uh -huh. and the second uh, time the unit uh, of the symbolic or imaginary register, and so on. But in fact. Is you think about that the first thing, the alienation with the others, with the symbolic uh, resistor, right. is the familiarity, and second you have the uh, anxiety, angoisse, like um, in the sense of something uh, goes uh, wrong in the sim symbolic resistor, like lack, for example. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That is the fact. So that is a Kojevian. Well, that is the point, a very interesting point. The second point is the uh, definition of the desire like a mediation. So okay. Right. It right. uh, comes from Kojev. Directly from Kojev. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So, the, the, so, the, the, so would you even say that his very famous, that he repeats it maybe more than he repeats anything else, our desire is the desire of the other? Mm -hmm. Is that a Kojevian? conception of desire, would you say? Yes, this point, yes. But yes. Uh, there is a second point uh, I agree with uh, Jean-Claude Misner, <laughs> because in the sense that uh, another definition of desire in Lacan is the concept of the desire de l'analyse, the desire of analyst, right. in the sense of it's not a desire of something or desire of... It's the desire another. of the other desire. Uh, yes. No, it's a desire of the pure difference. So, oh, it, 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 so it's not that's the it, analyst desire. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So there is not a determinate object of this desire, but the psychoanalysis, uh, psychoanalysis 
uh, in uh, like practice uh, needs this uh, this uh, this adrenalist. So is uh, so the desire of the analyst is the desire for pure difference, and yes. that is not you do not think a Kojevian yes. no, idea. No, absolutely no. I okay. think. You don't you don't uh, find this uh, you don't find this definition in Kojev. So that's the that's the way he moves beyond Kojev in terms of desire. Yes, I think. But I, here's what I want to ask you: Is would you say that the objet a, which Lacan says in Seminar Twenty One, I think this is my sole invention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would you say that that's a Kojevian idea, or objet a is a is fully a Lacanian? You you can. Uh, I know you didn't have the term, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yes. You can have two definitions of the uh, objet petit a, 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 a object a little a. That the negative definition that is. Uh, you have an indirect relation to the world because this relation to the world is given by the other right. in the sense that this table is a table because it's a table for the other uh, in the child, for example. Right. Um, so that's it. given that there is not a, rela a direct, direct relation with the object for the world, necessarily log uh, in the logic sense, there is something that uh, remains independently in this. So it's an artificial... Uh, so object A. Right, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Object yeah. But and that is a Kojev, you could say that's a Kojevian concept. Yes, why not? Yes, why not? Okay. But the second uh, element is a positive definition of Objet This uh, 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 positive definition is uh, that for uh, Lacan, there are uh, a lot of uh, objects that you cannot uh, 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 know right. uh, uh, through the symbolic uh, uh, register. Uh, so, certain image, uh, certain um, like the rest in the in the dreams, for example. Right, like like the the formula that Freud that when Freud looks down Irma's throat in the memory, he talks about the dream of Irma's Irma. injection of Irma. Yes, like yes, like it, that, or else the. It, it, I was thinking of the ambassadors, yes. the painting ambassadors, the skull yeah, at the yeah, base yes, of it. Absolutely. So the fact is, you don't uh, uh, have the subject and after the object and so on, but something in the object determinates the subject. Okay, so that's interesting. So, so what you're saying is that there's there's a point that go when, whenever he's talking about desire as mediation, mm -hmm. he's on Kojev's uh, ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. When he goes beyond, when there's this little point that doesn't can't be mediated. Yes. Then he's beyond Kozhev. Absolutely, it's yeah, a, yeah. A, a very interesting idea. Yes. Yeah, no, I agree. Your formulation is. Uh, okay, I like that a lot. Yeah. So, okay, so so does do, would you say his relation to Kozhev changes? Does he does he increasingly distance himself? Mm -hmm. You think so? I don't know. Though, uh, uh, according to Jean Claude Milner, <laughs> once again, uh, I don't know. But each uh, uh, time that Lacan says Hegel. He says Kojev. So that's Milner who yeah. invents yeah, yeah, that yeah, because yeah, yeah. I thought <laughs> so, it's so funny because Slavoj Žižek says that all the time, and yeah, I yeah, thought he's. But yeah, it's yeah, Milner yeah. who says that first. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, I, I agree with that. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, but and that goes till the end of his life. So he never really, he never really changes that, that position. That 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 for him, co. Hegel stands in for Kojev. Yes, yes. And the second point is, for example, takes the the quatre discours, the four discourses, the di discours du maître, master discourses. It's uh, evident that uh, is a reference to, to Kojev. To, Kojev, implicit, to Kojev's implicit. reading of Hegel. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Right. The implicit reference because master. So Ko because Kojev reads the entirety of Hegel through the master-slave dialectic, basically. Yes, exactly. So. So it's Milner who says that uh, that every time Lacan says Hegel, he means Kojev. Mm -hmm. So Milner invented that great, which is a great point. I love that point. So so the question is, does and 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 you think even where and so you would say that goes on throughout Lacan's whole career, even to the end, even to Seminar Seventeen. You think the 
the the the the, the four discourse seminar? I, I don't know. I, I think that it, um, in the end, uh, Lacan have um, less time <laughs> to theoretical point. Yeah. So uh, this corresponds to the Borromean uh, the Borromean nod. So, yeah. uh, so maybe the reference uh, to Kozhev is less important. But in Except seminar that, 17, it's definitely there, right? The master's 17, yes, discourse. Yes, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. yes. Right. And uh, in a reading uh, um, the, of uh, Freud, uh, excuse me, a Marxist reading, Marxist reading of Freud, Take for example the concept of plus uh, surplus plus jury, plus surplus jury, jury science, right? Yes, so in science. seminar, and he invents that in seminar sixteen, I think, the from another to the to the other, and yes. and that even that Marxism is is Kojevian, I think, influence, especially because uh, Kojev made a Marxist rhythm of Hegel. Of course, mm. right, right, right. And Heidegger, it's, it's this kind of amalgam of Heidegger, Hegel, yes, and yeah, Marx. Absolutely, right, absolutely. Right, yes, right. Yes, yes. Now, so does is the master's discourse in Lacan's mind Hegel's discourse? Or is Hegel university discourse? Uh, I don't know. Uh, for Lacan, the master discourse is a discourse of unconscious. Right. No, no I understand. Is, uh, right. In a certain sense, it is a discourse of the symbolic register at all. Right, so it, you couldn't, you wouldn't necessarily identify it with Hegel and, yeah, and Kojev's yeah. reading of Hegel, but yeah. the, just the term "master's discourse" is a it's Kojevian, a Kojevian uh, reference. reference. Yes, yes, yes absolutely. Do you think? Do you think he ever has a Hegel that's not Kojev's Hegel? Because so, let me just I'll frame the question. So, Maladin Dolar, the Slovenian yes, yes. Uh, theorist, he he says that that every that. Lacan has a lot of Hegelian formulations, but every time he does it, he's saying, I'm attacking Hegel. So it's when he says he's attacking. So my question is, are there any times where he actually invokes Hegel that it's not Kojev, but it's Hegel separate from Kojev? I, I think not. Do you think not? Yes. So the, the idea is Lacan criticize uh, uh, Hegel. Yes. From a Hegelian perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or, 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 from the Kojevian perspective. No, well, no, what I was going to say is from a Hegelian perspective that's not Kojev's. Yeah, 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 yeah. That he has some kind of unconscious understanding of Hegel. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's let's move to to uh, and so so but but your point was that he maybe departs from Kojev in the Borromean knots as it gets toward the end when he's and your point was he's thinking less theoretically then, right? Radical? Less theoretical. He's he's less not radical. thinking about theory. Less right? radical. Less radical. Oh no 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 more radical. More radical. Yeah yeah. So yeah, the yeah. Borromean knots are the most radical point. Yes yes. For you. Uh, yes yeah yeah yes certainly. So uh, he uh, takes uh, less in uh, into account the others uh, theories and he concentrates in a la certain formalism. Uh, like uh, topology and so yeah. on, and um, it does is not the, the same uh, demarche uh, perspective. The yeah, yeah, same, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so, so for you, the the most original Lacan is the Lacan at the end because he's the least indebted to figures like Kojev. I, 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 I. I, I think that. But that's sad to me because that's the least interesting version of him. In yes, my... because in the first uh, period, I don't know, eh, um, uh, not in the end, eh, the uh, the thought in Lacan is the thought uh, the, of the avec, with, right. uh, Kant with sad, uh, Hegel with Freud, right. and so on. So, uh, like on with Levi Strauss. Levi Strauss, uh, yes. right, right. So, but in the end, for me, he, he, maybe he uh, uh, less tombe. Uh, He's Lacan avec personne, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. it's different uh, without anyone. Yes, right? yeah. Right. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. So, but so let's touch on Levi Strauss, who mm. yes. you've written on as well, and and so. Do you think he's almost more of a major influence on him than Kojev? 
And if so, could you talk about, like, like does he inherit, would you say he inherits his structuralism from Levi-Strauss? It's a very interesting question. I don't know if it's evident that uh, the, um, uh, the um, Levi-Strauss influence is decisive, is yeah. uh, fundamental for... Uh, Starting Lacan. in 1950 or so? 1950s. So uh, Levi-Strauss returns to the uh, to from America, yeah. United States to, to France in 48. Um, he uh, encounters uh, a, a Lacan uh, and is from Levi-Strauss that Lacan knows for me is almost sure, uh, de Saussure. So uh, de Saussure is from Levi-Strauss? Yes. Oh, interesting. But, but yeah. I don't know. It's my, yeah, that's I your supposition. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah yes. So, um, even, the, so, Lacan knows certainly de Saussure, the psychoanalyst de Saussure, the Switzerland, the Swiss uh, psychoanalyst, right. it is the same family of de right, Saussure. Right. So, Maybe Lacan knows uh, de Saussure. But there's no evidence that he had read de Saussure uh, no, before Levi Strauss. Not, uh, um, in contrast, it's certain that uh, uh, Lacan knows uh, de Saussure and especially Jacobson through Levi Strauss. Is that a decisive point in his uh, career? I, I think. So that really so. Kojev is the important early influence. Yes, he is. Yes, and then it's Levi Strauss who yes, really shapes him yes. as a structuralist. Yes. And in a certain sense, uh, structuralism um, takes off the dialectical uh, reference. Oh, I, I oh you think so? So you think he he starts probably, out more dialectical? Well, probably, yes, yes, huh. yes. Huh. So in uh, until, um, until the 50s, the mm, word dialectic, dialectical, and so on. That appears is, quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of And time. then it disappears almost. And in fact, he even practically, said... Practically, practically. Doesn't he say, like, uh, that, that in Seminar 11, he famously says something against the dialectic, right? Yes. Like that the, the Holocaust can never be put in any kind of Hegeliano, Marxist, dialectical yes. frame of understanding. Yes, okay. but for example, if you take the the le, le graph of désir, the graph, the graph of, of desire, desire um, there is a, a kind of dialectical thought, but instead is the reference to the shifters, to Jacobson. Jacobson, right. So that, that is not the dialectical... Uh, right, right, thing. right, right. Fascinating. Okay, so 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 the, his notion of the symbolic order is basically a translation of Levi-Strauss mm, into yes. psychoanalysis. Yes, yes. Do you think that's fair to say? Yes, yes. And um, uh, Milner again, <laughs> he, he talk about the a kind of a hyper structuralism in Lacan. So people say it's not is not a, it is structuralist. Lacan is not a, a structuralist. Uh, I agree with Milner. Is not a, a structuralist. Uh, he is a hyper structuralist. Hyper structuralist. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, as least as the seminar for about the relation of the object. Right. Of yeah, the, it's a relation of the object. I think it's yes. about to be translated into English, yes. so people yes. will be able right. to read it. Yes. So, uh, in this uh, seminar, uh, I think that he uh, takes off the, the hyperstructuralism, so the fact that a term values in relation to the other terms, right. and Something changed concerning, uh, uh, especially the sh schema, schema L. The schema L. Yeah. Schema L. Yeah. Because in the this seminar about relation to four, yeah. yes, uh, he made a kind of manipulation, uh, and it's a, a manner to um, uh, uh, to. Uh, to explain the clinical cases, for example, uh, uh, petit hands, uh, little hands, little hands case, right. and so on, and especially the formula of the fan fantasy. Right. So we... Uh, and that's a hype, you would call the, even the formation of the formula of fantasy is hyperstructuralism. No. No, 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 no. Okay. It's, no. It's, it's another 
they is another point of view. Okay. So the fact uh, that uh, the same uh, terms can uh, change the place and remains the same term. And that's that's hyperstructural. Yeah. Yes. For example, father uh, in the symbolic uh, terms becomes a, an imaginary father and so on. That right. is the the change that uh, happens in the seminar four for me. Okay. Okay. So seminar four is decisive for you. Yes. For, yes. For me, it's clear. For Milner, the the la sortie, le, the, the exit, the, the exit the of the yeah. of the hyperstructuralism is the seminar, uh, the four discourses. So all the way to seminar yes. seventeen. Yes, yes. For me, I, I don't. I, I, my point of view is not the same. Okay, because it's interesting. so. I was just talking to Slavoj Žižek about this, and we both agreed that seminar ten for us was the big turn away from structuralism and into what we thought was the richest period, this period from seminar 10, maybe up through 16 or before the four discourses, yes, 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 yes. where you get the, I mean, Abje Ah is obviously embedded in the anxiety seminar. Mm -hmm. And then, and then this, this idea of, of, of subjectivity, I think becomes much more like it becomes about the relation between the subject and, as the subject as this disturbance within the symbolic order that I think it isn't prior to the seminar 10, I think it, the subject fits within the symbolic order. Yes. Yes. More or less. And then it, I think then it becomes this disturbance that can't be reconciled. Yes. And so I feel like that's the, for me, that's a, the seminar 10 is seminar the key. 10 is the key. Yes, yeah, yeah, the, the key for the change. Yes, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Let's we'll stop on that. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay. All right, that was great. Oh, it was yeah, perfect.